Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Emma and this is So Do Emma. Welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Um, yeah, it's so lovely to have you here. Just a wee word. Can we subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already? If you're a returning viewer but you haven't subscribed, it would be really, really nice for you to join the family and keep up to date with any new videos coming out. Thank you, please. <laughs> so, I'm going to jump into this vlog. It is 10 patterns that are size inclusive. Um, the reason why I go and try and handpick the size inclusive ones is that I'm thinking of myself primarily, but I know that there's curvy fat source out there, plus size source out there that are looking for similar patterns as well as me. So yeah, we're in this gang together. Um, these patterns are size inclusive anyway. They go from zero mainly to 30, 34, around that range okay um okay we're gonna dive in deep and get the, on with this because it's 10 patterns as i said and yeah it's gonna be busy i'll come to the bits and pieces at the end and uh yeah so we're starting off with the chalk and notch evelyn skirt i absolutely adore this one this is a cracker this is one of my favorite patterns this year um i've not tried it myself but i really want to possibly purchase this so uh, yes it's going on my shopping list Aha! so this comes in a zero to thirty i'm going to give you both inches and centimeters where i can oh it was a job trying to get all these <laughs> <laughs> so the waist of the Evelyn skirt goes up to a size 30 which is a 49 inch or 124 and a half centimeters a hip of 59 inch uh, or 150 centimeters you can see that I'm already starting to <laughs> this is why I normally just go inches <laughs> but Hey -ho, I've done the shebang for you. I really like how the button placket kind of lies on one leg and it gives you that little sexy, oh, here's my little leg. So, yes, you can see me totally making one up. This would be absolutely amazing in chambray, lightweight denim, um, linen. Even a sort of a cotton lawn, maybe viscose to, for that little drape. Viscose twill would probably work better just to give you that little bit more shape. So, moving on, we've got the Isla dress from Jennifer Lauren Handmade. This was a tester that I had tested for Jennifer. Um, it is a lovely dress. It has... The wrap at the back, um, and it's based off a program. I'll pop it in there. I can never remember it, but it's based on a program where she saw, and she was inspired by the dresses on this actress's um, wardrobe. So yes, so the Isla dress is a lovely dress. Instead of having the wrap at the front. Traditionally, you cut it at the back, so there's a nice little modern twist there. And um, to close it, we've got one little button or a big button in my case, I think it's a two centimeter button, so it's not little. Um, you can either sew it down where the wrap is meant to close because the neckline is big enough for you to shove it over your head, <laughs> shove it. Just pull it gracefully over your head. So, the Isla dress comes in two size ranges. The original, which is 6 to 24, and an A to D cups. Or, 16 to 34 C to F cups. And it goes up to 
as size 34 and I'm going to quote the C cup. The bust is 58.58 uh, inches or 151 and a half centimetres. The waist is 51 three quarters inches or 131 and a half centimetres. The hips is one five nine and a half centimetres or 62 and three quarters inches. I think I mixed them up a wee bit there, but I hope you followed. Um, I will pop all the links to all the patterns below as well. So um, if you want to go and have a wee look, it's just to give you a vague idea of you slip into those sizes then you've got that so moving on is uh another sort of dress and it's called the aria button down and it's from love notions this comes in sizes extra small to 5x and it goes up to a bust of 57 and a half or 146 centimeters a waist of 49 and a half or 125 and a half centimeters a hip of 59.5 inches or 151 centimeters this has got a lovely design it's like a shirt dress it's got button down really, really nice um i've not tried the love notions um pattern yet i have got a couple under my belt purchased in my folder, download folder, so maybe you should try them before I go and try this, but I'm I'm being swayed. I'm being swayed to go just buy it and try it out. Um I know that Love Notions has a really good size range and the block is quite good as well. So hearing that gives me a little bit of confidence to go and try it out. Moving on to a blouse, we've got the poppy blouse and it's by Pattern Scout. Pattern Scout also has a YouTube channel which I find really interesting. She's recently done a drafting video for drafting your own skirt block and then she's transferred that skirt block into a trouser block, short block. Um, yeah, so really, really interesting. The poppy blouse kind of reminds me of, of another blouse which is out there and um, without giving it away, it's called the Roscoe blouse by Drew Bias. It, it's got very similar um, neckline, but I still like it. I don't know if I would buy it, but it has got you that option of having a B, C and a D cup rather than a B cup for the small sizes than a D cup for the larger sizes. So keep that in mind. It might work better for you. But seeing that, if you can do either a small bust adjustment or a full bust adjustment on the Roscoe, just go with that. And if you've done your adjustments, I wouldn't go out and buy another pattern. Or you could, you could just, like, what's the word, not compare, see what the differences are. Yeah. <laughs> so, the poppy blouse goes from 0 to 30, it's got three cup sizes, B, a C and a D. I'm going to give you the C cup measurements for the bust, so that's a 57 inch bust, a 48 inch waist and a hip of 60 inches. Sorry, at the time of this doing this video I could only find the inches and didn't um, transfer that. So we're going on to another skirt and it's the assembly line maxi skirt. This is extra small to large extra large to 3x and the waist goes up to 120 or to 126 centimeters and the hips goes from 135 centimeters 139 centimeters for the 3xl size 
I like the maxi skirt. I think it's the nice thick waistband as well as it's got an elastic casing waist and it, it's got really nice big pockets and I can't remember what they're called but I just like pocket detail. It's really weird, I know. I know, but it reminds me of the sewing collops or by C Stitch patterns, and I've done a few of those shorts, and I really, really like the pockets um on them, um they're on. Yeah, I would say they're on top of the trousers. So uh, yeah, oh, I just like the detail. It's got a cool angle. Just saying. Moving on is um. Like got back into my good books ever since they released the Sirocco and I've tried the Sirocco jumpsuit recently in my collab. I'm gonna slip this in. I'll pop the I'll pop the um details here. Or is it here? Got a funny feeling it's here. <laughs> I'll pop the details up here and uh, you can click on that video or I'll pop it in there. Um, I'll link it in with the um, the Indo patterns that I'm going to talk about. As well as the Sirocco jumpsuit and the plantain t-shirt, um, they have now released a little collection. Seeing that, it's, yeah. you can probably get quite a lot out of this, um, which is really good, really, really good. I'm sure there was a skirt. I'm going to have to go back and have a look. <laughs> but anyway, they've released this lovely little collection which features an overskirt, pants and a blouse. And I've got a sneaky feeling that it's got a skirt as well, but I could be wrong. Um, anyway, so it's the Fergur, forgive my French, Fergur overskirt. The great pants, which also can be shorts, and the hyposy blouse, and I know that it goes up to a sixty-inch hip. So yay! Um, buzzing, buzzing. So I will pop the link in for that collection or the patterns separately for you. Um, so you can go and have a wee look but I, I, I love them I really like the the blouse the hyposy blouse hyposy blouse or and the grey pants I, I like the pleats on the pants so they could be becoming shorts as well for the summer if we're ever getting it it's quite windy out there I don't know if you can hear it I'm trying to talk loud so you don't hear it. <laughs> okay, so we're over halfway. We're over halfway. We have got the Itch to Stitch Lemon Top, which is a woven pattern. Sorry, I should have said that if it was woven or stretch. <laughs> They're all woven. You're okay. <laughs> There's no, actually no knits. That wasn't deliberate. That's just what happened. Apart from the Sirocco jumps, that is a knit one. Okay, so it's the stitch lemon top. It's woven and it's aimed for beginners plus. Um, I didn't do the improvers, beginners, events. I should have, but... Next one, I will. Will improve with age. Okay, so the lemon top is zero, double zero to 20 or 16 to 40. It comes in a regular and full bust. I'm trying to narrow that detail. Uh, yeah, so the bust goes up to, this is for size 40, the bust goes up to a 63 inch or 160 centimeters. Weight goes up to 54.4 inches 
or 138 centimeters the hip goes up to 62 inches or 157.5 centimeters there we go really like the look of the lines are slightly different um i know oh wet from Tom Cat Stitchery, she was talking about it the other day in her vlog, and I she's already made two, but I think, um, and yeah, I really like the lines. And looking at the lines on it's the Stitchery's website, I was like, ooh, that's a top, that's juicy, juicy, uh, yeah, so might just there. Uh, wander off after this video i'll let you know if i do purchase it but i'm trying not to purchase new patterns and use the ones that are over there and here i've got loads that i'm not even touched um i should just be ruthless and just put it all on a stash not all but anything that i don't touch i think i might do that this year if i've not touched it in the next Three months I think I should just be ruthless especially for the paper patterns down here I might have sudden regrets but hey home um <laughs> so we have got the Marcel address and that is by hi hey Jun handmade it comes in a B cut for 0 to 20 and a D cut for 14 to 30. It goes up to a bust of 60, a waist of 53 inches and a hip of 63 inches. Again, a woven, really nice lines on this. This is definitely a stunner for summer. Yeah, what more can I say? Finally, we have got the Studio tunic by so liberated it's drafted for a c cup it's zero to 34 which is brilliant um yeah um i think i missed one out i have missed one out so i'll get back on to that this is the second last <laughs> yeah. so zero to 34 for the studio tunic and that comes in a bust of 147 centimeters or 58 and a half inches waist of 133 centimeters or 52 and a half inches or and a hip of 50, 155 centimeters or 61 inches so there you go last but not least it's another tester that i've tested it's the kelly curve kelly skirt curve by megan nelson it is 0 to 20 and it now goes up from 14 to 34 so there's a really good um size increase there so i'm not quite sure if she's going to go back on her older patterns and redraft them for the size 34 and um, that's a good question that i might actually email and ask her the kelly skirt i'll pop pictures of my tester i made this one out of a wash cotton and added lovely little uh, dinky buttons to this so this is 0 to 20 and 14 to 34 the waist goes up to 56 inches or 132 centimeters and the hip goes up to 62 inches or 150 cent seven centimeters so there we go that's all 10 patterns in under 20 minutes <laughs> look at that <laughs> Sorry if that felt rushed, but I feel that if I go over 25 minutes, it becomes quite long a video. And time is pretty important to people these days. Now we're getting into normality. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I'm going to love you and leave you, but before I go, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, give me a little thumbs up, and I'll see you very, very shortly for another video. Thank you for joining me again. 